Hey, and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and it's been a long day for me, and I'm not feeling 100%, but the news is important to me, and I bring you guys the news as often as I can, and it is a priority for me. So here I am. Uh, I got to hold up my end of the bargain. You guys are being so nice to me. I appreciate uh, all the donations, and just want to give a shout out to everyone who's been uh, using my Amazon links and uh, things of that nature to help support this channel. I've invested a lot of uh, time and money into equipment and things of that nature. And uh, granted, it does, definitely doesn't cover it, but it definitely helps support the cause, keeps me motivated to keep going, and uh, really appreciate it very much. Especially on days like today. Today is a hard day for me to keep this going, but here we go. We're going to do it. We're going to open up with a quick market update. You can see on my screen right here, um, Bitcoin has essentially come back around, and it's not doing too bad compared to 24 hours ago. It looked like it was doomsday, uh, but it looks like it's uh, found some support and uh, consolidating a little bit here. And uh, that pullback is exactly what we all needed. It's getting a little out of control. Um, a lot of it um, has to do with Ethereum. People bought a lot of Ethereum. Um, uh, but you got to get Bitcoin first in most cases and things like that. And the pressure from the ICOs pushed Ethereum to ridiculous levels way too quickly. Um, this pullback is a, a, a huge sigh of relief um, because I was getting very concerned about just how insanely bullish it was and how high we were going. So it's good to see it come back. So. Um, taking a look at the rest of the market, and it looks like Ripple is uh, just doing what it usually does, which is not much these days. Uh, NEM right now is a great time to pick up some NEM. Um, Catapult will be coming out soon. There's also some um, new news, um, and uh, it's actually pretty exciting, uh, the news that is out. Um, they're basically going to be lowering the fees on NEM. And, uh, and it hasn't really uh, gotten out. I haven't really seen it on any of the main uh, crypto news channels or anything of that nature. But um, Catable, on top of the fact that they're adjusting their fees, right now their fees are a little too high. Not a little, a lot too high. Um, but they're coming back to be within the same range as everyone else. So um, that's fantastic news. Um, some developers I even saw were stating that now they can come, now they can go forward with NIM on their projects that they were putting off because they've been waiting um, for it to become more affordable. So that's great news. Um, on top of Catapult essentially giving NIM um, Ether-like, uh, Ethereum-like abilities, um, and also them targeting banks to go head-to-head -head with Ripple, it's not going to be it's not going to be long before we're seeing some uh, businesses and banks uh, hit the news with NIM. And um, so it's a it's a good one to have um, your eyes on in this crazy world of blockchain technology. Uh, moving right on down the line, Litecoin is up today. A little bit of that is because uh, the hype and the tension is building um, essentially for Lightning Network and things of that nature. Um, and uh, all that's supposed to be going live here soon. At least that's the rumors. We'll see if that is to be true. Um, but I believe that that is why it is um, countering a lot of the numbers you're seeing here. Um, Dash, nothing special. Um, still got this weird bug with IOTA on here. Uh, BitShares. Uh, BitShares is sitting here real nicely as well out of the ones in the top that's uh, doing okay despite the chaos. Um, holding in at $0.30 cents, um, at the moment USD up 4% against the Bitcoin. Uh, looks like uh, it's competing and fighting back and forth right now. Stratus just passed it as we were watching it live. Um, and, uh, yeah, Stratus uh, on its way back up. Um, hitting $8 here again. Uh, Stratus has found some ridiculous amount of support, around $7. Um, so anywhere in the $7 range uh, right now tends to be where people want to pick up the Stratus. Uh, Zcash doing nicely again today. Two days in a row of green in a, in a world of chaos. Doing doing excellent. Um, and uh, Monero just hanging around as usual. Waves is starting to pick up a little bit. Waves is uh, uh, a nice one to be taking a look at right now. And also um, Steam. Steam has been uh, taking some strides back, which is good. Got a little out of control there. Going from like 80 cents to, you know, 
upper two dollars a little too much too fast I'd like to see steam uh, be more steady in its climb I believe a, uh, a, a steady climb in steam is what's good for the community um, and good for the price uh, main reason being is anytime there's a massive spike everyone starts powering down um, to cash out and so the moment it goes way up it starts to come way down and um, it just takes a little time for people to get their money out so um, that's kind of the, the world of how steam it works um, but either way I'd like to see steam have a better uh, consistent long-term decline um, I mean incline sorry all right so that's all we're going to do for the market update we're going to get right to some news and we'll leave this up on the screen i don't have much to show you guys today so just listen up um uh, basically i just wanted to touch base on this regulation scare seems like everywhere you're looking at news right now everyone's freaking out um, basically some some people made a big deal about an article that's really not that big of a deal if, if you really look into it effectively it doesn't probably affect anyone listening to me if you are a regular crypto user um, it's not going to uh, affect you at all um, if you are basically a wealthy person who is moving lots of cash around in your pockets crossing borders it may actually affect you and I don't really know anyone that's like that but maybe you're out there um, and the other thing is is I just don't quite get why everyone's so concerned about regulations um, this cannot be stopped it won't be stopped um, if, if I don't I just don't get it um, you know, uh, you'd have to turn off the entire internet worldwide to try to kill it, to try to disrupt it. Um, by the time the governments get smart enough to do that, we may have a decentralized internet where I am plugged into my neighbor's house and they are plugged into theirs and so forth. So who knows? Um, we, we could be a long ways from that, but, um, wireless technology, uh, in the world we live in today it would make it extremely difficult to fully shut it down um, so we're just gonna have to uh, just deal with these people that don't know what they're doing trying to make laws about things that they've actually uh, never even read a single white paper on <laughs> so just hang in there guys don't be scared is what I'm trying to say um, it's uh, someday it's all gonna be regulated properly and there'll be all kinds of rules but for the time being, uh, I wouldn't worry about it very much. Just uh, don't let, let all the hype and fear scare you. I, I actually do not believe that has anything to do with the sell-off. Again, I believe the big reason for the sell-off had more to do with uh, Bitmin talking about uh, hard forking Bitcoin come August. I think we may have seen the first uh, correction requ uh, needed before we lead up to August 1st. I wouldn't be surprised if we just bounce around this range, maybe make one more move up or down between now and then with Bitcoin, but um, the hard, the potential hard fork is a, a very, very, very big deal, guys. I don't know how to put into words how big of a deal it is, um, but we're talking about everything this entire industry started with and has been built on and is connected to at this point, which is Bitcoin, potentially becoming a Bitcoin classic. Um, and then there being a new Bitcoin. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen or what it's going to look like if they hard fork. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people are against it. They don't want to. So don't be scared. That's all. I just wanted to address the crazy news going on with regulations. I do cover some of that type of news, um, but uh, I just don't want anyone to get scared about it. And the markets are not reacting to that. Also, um, one thing the markets may be reacting to a little bit um, is the uh, increased interest rates here in the United States. So it's a game that the, uh, the, the federal government has to play, essentially, and the Fed and all that fun stuff. Um, essentially, what they have to do is uh, raise it when things are good. And uh, right now, uh, there's a lot of debate on whether things are good right now in, in America, economically. Um, and the rate was extremely small, it wasn't a big deal. Um, it's one of those things where they just kind of like uh, move up just a tiny bit here and there over time so that when things are really bad, they can uh, lower it and make everyone feel good again. Um, it's, uh, it's 
kind of silly that they have that ability to manipulate the market so easily with such a small little percentage um, but uh, they can um, so that's probably one of the reasons why uh, the markets went down as well so we have a couple of different reasons as to why the markets should have had this pullback couple that on top of the fact we've had one of the biggest runs in the history of the of uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain technology so um, I hope everyone's sitting pretty I hope not everyone got in at the top um, most people I know have been around for a while this is a normal thing that's the other thing I wanted to make sure you guys know don't get scared this is normal this is just another day of uh, nothing, nothing to see here. Move along. Just hold. <laughs> just move along. Uh, enjoy your day. Because you guys can see that already, um, you know, Ethereum is making a climb back up. It's not doing too bad. In fact, I'll take a quick look here, um, if you don't mind. And uh, about 340 to 330, it's bouncing around. It's still trying to find out uh, where its new support is. But I tell you what, guys that's still not bad I mean basically everyone I know who's bought ethereum is still up right now so at least in my life so how it's things are going crazy but um, just just hold all right if you're worried and you don't know what to do don't try to day trade it don't try to time it just uh, peace out and relax it's nice to just relax sometimes all right so I already covered that NIM is lowering its fees. I had that written down here. Um, talked about the interest rates. I wanted to talk about uh, S O N M SOM. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Sun? Maybe it's Sun. Silent M. I don't know, guys. Um, but we'll just call it uh, SOM for now. Um, essentially, um, they ha they're having their ICO today. It went all right. Um, I uh, I read the white paper. Um, I think it was a week and a half ago. Um, and I thought it was a well-written well uh, white paper as far as explaining the technology. However, however, there I did not find the um, bashing of other supercomputer technologies um, appropriate in a white paper. I don't think. I guess I guess if your unique selling proposition requires you to bash someone else and and, and not just straight up highlight your technology uh, it's it's not tasteful um, so not very professionally done as far as white paper goes I was um, I, I was enjoying it until I until the bashing um, but besides that um, very well written as far as explaining the technology something that's really cool uh, I, I I don't know anything about the team there's not enough information out there about it, and that's the part where I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to invest in this because I don't even know who's doing it. Um, anyhow, it, it it seems like as as far as the ICO, um, seems like it it seems like it's successful. Any any ICO is right now, right? <laughs> seems like it was a, a decent ICO for them. Um, they'll be fine. Went well today. Um, but some interesting things that I saw too on their site. Um, that wasn't in the white paper. Uh, they mentioned uh, mining via your PlayStation. Uh, so uh, essentially, you know, you know, if you've been with me on this channel, you know that I've shown you guys a little bit about Gridcoin and um, doing some, uh, you know, sharing my processing power in the background while I'm doing these videos, things like that, uh, for science, you know, to save the world and uh, also to look for extraterrestrials where we've done a little bit of SETA work on, uh, SETA work on here um, so essentially the, they're, they're planning on trying to uh, make it so that almost anything in this world of internet of things anything with uh, a chip can be used um, essentially they want to access all the idle processing power um, that is more locally based. They want to focus on local based a little bit more. And what they call that is fog. So you guys know that what cloud computing is, right? It's like out there in the cloud somewhere. Well, really, it's just in a bunker somewhere <laughs> and a bunch of servers, right? Um, and they're all working really hard. 
Well, the concept of fog is that you bring it down into the area that you are. You bring that cloud down to, to our level, right? So you're in the fog. And the idea behind it is that the technology is going to allow you to essentially uh, tap into unused uh, processing power in and around you. So um, I like to think of it as like when I'm at work and my graphic designers need to render, well, maybe they could actually access idle CPU cores and GPUs laying around the office um, on people's uh, computers when they're not using them. Or maybe they're in meetings or uh, maybe they're out to lunch or just it's maybe it's overnight. Um, maybe you just want to borrow processing power from your neighbor, the business next door. Um, so, so they're trying to make it more of like a, uh, trying to bring it more down to the local level and they call that fog. Um, and, uh, they do a better job explaining it than I can as far as the technical aspect of it and really how it's different than Golem, but definitely take a look at it. Um, also they are in alpha testing right now. Um, and for the sake of just testing, they are using a uh, Quake 3 uh, test server for their test case, and uh, which is really, really funny. Uh, but at the same time, you know, they're, they're just uh, testing out the capabilities of their software. So bear with me, guys. I'm trying to hang in there. Okay. So um, what can SOM do? Uh, I got a whole list of things here. Uh, they can do site hosting with it, applications, machine learning, scientific research, similar to Gridcoin, uh, game servers, uh, which is what they're testing first, uh, video streaming, and uh, video rendering. So a lot of things that you would find with Gollum. And uh, again, these guys will bash Gollum all day long. Uh, they have a lot of thing, a lot of blogs and the mentions of it on their website, essentially talking about how their technology is better than Golem, um, and uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, maybe the vision for it is to be better, right? Um, but at the same time, Golem is still a vision, right, guys? So um, this would be a speculative play, uh, this particular ICO. Uh, there is no tangible proof of anything that they stated, uh, the team is a little bit shrouded, and I'd love to hear from them if, they, if they're if they out there somewhere. Uh, let us know who you are and teach us a little bit about yourselves and what makes you guys unique. Let us know. Um, besides that, you know, I, I mentioned the unprofessionalism in the white paper. The uh, other thing that um, I noticed was in their blog. Uh, I noticed many spelling errors. Um, I do understand that uh, a lot of the stuff that we see here in America may be translated, um, but still, um, this type of spelling errors and grammatical issues I saw seems like uh, that shouldn't be happening if you were having a professional uh, translate it for you. So just just some there there are some red flags here and there and i just i just didn't get the feeling that this was one that had the hype and the push to really sell out in an instant and i feel like um, there may be opportunities to pick it up later when there's actual proof tangible proof of something we're working with here so that's my take on some um and a lot of you've been asking about that and uh taking a look at that ico so um you know, uh, only invest what uh, you're willing to completely lose, and you'll be safe. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, lastly, uh, Delaware ha is hitting the news. Uh, Delaware is always extremely uh, forward-thinking when it comes to uh, business. Um, and again, they proved it today, right? So if, you, if you're not familiar, maybe you've never looked into uh, incorporating your business, but... Um, Delaware gives massive incentives to people who incorporate uh, in Delaware, and uh, it's a good place. It's a good place for corporations and people to set up their businesses. And um, uh, basically, they basically legalized uh, distributed ledgers um, in the way that uh, you can do corporate authorization, issuance, uh, transfer and uh, redemption of shares and so um, that's all kind of crazy uh, sounding and the best way that I can interpret it um, from my understanding of reading about it today was um, 
this is like step one to putting corporations on blockchains putting shares on blockchains right stock this is one step towards the stock exchange being on a immutable ledger fascinating so super forward thinking uh by legalizing it and uh you know trying to draw in some of these uh, amazing technologies uh, to uh, incorporate in the state of Delaware. So, some big news happening this week with some individual states. That's usually how it works, state by state by state. Anyone in America familiar with the whole marijuana craze? It's always it's right now. It's state by state by state, and now now everywhere you turn, people are talking about oh, it's going to be federal any day now. Uh, because before, if it's not federal soon, it's going to be all 50 states. And at that point, I don't know. I mean, I, I do know the difference, but like, it's kind of funny. So um, anyhow, so blockchain, I imagine, is going to be state by state. Whew, we did it. We made it, guys. I appreciate you guys so much for stopping in. If you like this type of news, please subscribe. I usually feel better and I usually... Uh, deliver much better but um please subscribe if you enjoy this content give me a like share with a friend your friends need to know about these things guys let them know so does so does the, the guy who pumps your gas so does the guy who uh bags your groceries everyone needs to know uh you know i was at best buy today buying some hardware uh, for mining and these guys look at me like i'm crazy for what i'm buying and the questions i'm asking they have no idea what i'm doing and uh they should know you got to let these people know, guys. Spread the good news. Um, that is decentralization, blockchain technology, and cryptocurrencies. And uh, if you have a question, leave in the comments below. I love answering your guys' questions. And uh, if you have anything you want me to take a look at, read, research, that's why I do this channel, guys, to get to know you, to have conversations with you, to get to know this whole community better. And I literally have made some friends doing this, guys. It's been fantastic uh, doing this. Um, and I'm really enjoying to get, getting to know all of you. All of you are so inspiring to me and, uh, really appreciate the positivity, the support, um, and, uh, just means the world to me guys. So thank you so much. And with all that said, make sure you go over to steam it as well. If you haven't signed up for steam it, I don't know what you're doing. I really don't even know guys. It's like you could just use steam it instead of Reddit and you're going to get the same content. If not better, if not better. Did you know they have bots on Steemit to make sure people aren't just copying and pasting like news and stealing content from other places and and you know there's there's a hard fight against fake news over there. It is it is a fantastic community. If you are not on Steemit, you need to at least sign up. It's going to take a while to get signed up, but on top of that, you're going to get cryptocurrency that you can actually exchange for any currency you want to invest in, right? Maybe you're new to all this and you don't have a lot of money. Maybe uh Maybe, you know, you started with 50 bucks and this is all just super fascinating to you. Maybe your 50 turned into 100 and you're like, wow, what is this? This is crazy. You know, wow, we just had a bunch of green light up, guys. You see that huge jump? Whew. Sorry, Bitcoin's gone up 3% while I've been doing this this video here. And this is crazy. Anyhow, guys, <laughs> my whole screen is lit up green. Uh, Zcash is on a tear. So anyhow, go over to Steam it, upvote. Upvote, please upvote the videos. Uh, make sure you go follow the Queen of Dew. Uh, I posted her first post just the other day. Give her give her an upvote. Show her your support on Steemit as well. Um, she doesn't even know who you guys are, but she appreciates you. <laughs> um, yeah, get over on Steemit, guys, so that you can use some of that. Use some of your Steam rewards to invest in things you care about. And I bet before you know it, you'll keep some of that Steam because... Um, it actually makes sense once you really start using it and understanding it. So it's a fantastic cryptocurrency, fantastic community. Highly recommend it. And if you're not doing it, I don't know. I just don't understand why you're not. So because you literally could go over there right now, upvote my video, and make money just by upvoting. You don't even have to create content. It's amazing. Anyhow, guys, I really appreciate you. You guys have an 
awesome weekend as we roll up here on Friday on the uh, west coast of the United States. Um, and I uh, hope hope you guys uh, stay safe and enjoy the weather, good or bad, wherever you are. <laughs> and as always, guys, I am the king of dew. May the force be with you.